All right, so today we're going to talk about back button focus. Back button focus is one of the tools that I use more than literally anything else and what really set my photography apart. So today we've got my subject and best buddy, Hopper. If you can see on the screen here, Hopper is out of focus. Cool. What our goal is, is to have the shutter do one function and the AEL, AFL button do another. So why autofocus is so important and back button autofocus is such a big deal. Right now, our subject is stable. He's a dog. He's like 13 years old. He don't like to move a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is hit this autofocus button, bring him into focus, and while holding the autofocus button, I'm going to click. Got my picture, good to go. Now, let's say we've got a rambunctious and wild three-year-old. Holding the autofocus button, we stay locked in. No matter if we're moving or not, our subject stays in focus because we haven't told the camera not to autofocus or not to let go of autofocus because we're holding the back button focus. So now we're going to talk about choosing our focus style. So on top you'll see AFC S autofocus continuous single point on a D750 there's a button on the bottom side where you switch from automatic to manual. Your camera may be different. But the point here being, we want to choose continuous autofocus. So, going back to the back button, as long as we're holding our back button, the camera is focusing. And we're using a single point. So, how does that all play out? With autofocus continuous, single point, you can choose your autofocus point and as long as you're holding the back button, the camera will do its best to keep the point that you have chosen where you've put the cursor, i.e. your subject, in focus. This can change if your subject is moving really fast and this also depends a lot on what you're shooting. So if you're shooting a kid moving around you may have to release and reset a couple times. But generally, as long as you're holding the AFL, AEL button with autofocus continuous, single point, you can move around, your subjects can move around, and you'll still be able to maintain a focus lock of where you want focus. So to sum it all up, we want to use back button focus, autofocus continuous, and single point autofocus. That gives us the ability to differentiate between our focusing and our shooting. So focus with the back button, click with the shutter button. We have a continuous point that the camera does its best to keep in focus whether your subject or you are moving. And we have single point so we get to choose where the camera focuses, not the camera.